represents two and one half um, n equals negative eight and one third. Next, we're going to split these into equal groups. And then we're going to split these into the equal groups. So we go one, two, three, one, two, three, three. <clears throat> one, two. So then now it we're on an even amount. Okay. Can you stop recording? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice enough. So next, since they don't go into equal groups, we would have to split them into halves. Okay, and why'd you split those in halves? Because if we didn't, it'd be two equal or two full groups and a half. Right, so we have to account for that half group. So we have how many half groups that we're splitting into? Five. Okay, can you do that? Can you start splitting the eight and one third into our five equal groups there? And what happens? They don't go in equally. Okay, so how many times do they go in equally? Two times. Does it go in two times all the way? No. How many times do they go in? One. Yeah. One time. So can we show that? Oh, yeah. Okay, so now we need to figure out how many of these, how many times does this go into here? And that will be in our next segment.